Greetings, Wild and Tame Souls. I'm Lucinda Bakken White, and today I'm going to help Becky unravel a message from Weasel. She wrote, I had the most unusual animal cross my path the other day. I was walking my two dogs along a country road in my hometown of Wallingford, Connecticut, when this critter scurried across the road in front of me. Well, I just want to say when an animal crosses your path, you're at a crossroads, an intersection, and you're meant to intersect with this animal. I was instantly intrigued because I wasn't sure what it was. I love it that this is mysterious and you were full of wonder and intrigued and you wanted to know more. I continued walking and then I spotted him perched on a rock, staring at me. We paused and gazed at each other for probably 30 seconds. Me trying to figure out what the hell I was looking at and him gauging if me or my dogs were a threat. Okay, this is really powerful. I've talked about it before when you have this eye-to-eye -eye contact with an animal. I don't recommend people go out and, and, and initiate it, but when it happens and we're speaking of it in retrospect, the animal is sending you energy, a vibration, a message, and you're receiving it through your eyes. You may not even know intellectually what it means, but some strong energy came into you from that animal. Just by the fact that he went on the rock and he waited for you, waited for you and he turned and looked. What's interesting is you said, it was a creepy little critter, sort of mean looking, which made me a little fearful, especially since I didn't know what it was. So when we see animals and we have encounters, it's usually a reflection of something inside of us. It doesn't have to be your totem, but an animal can come for one episode or incident or period of time and reflect something back inside of us. And in this scenario, I'm wondering, because something was a little scary to you and a little off, if it's something inside of you, an aspect inside of you that, that wants to emerge that you're a little bit afraid of. However, you are curious, you're following the mystery, so it's, it's, it wants to emerge. Because then you said, but it was a cool experience to have a moment with another animal. Well, I really like that because you are curious and even though you're a little fearful, it's more like it's a mystery. So you did a Google search and it revealed it was a weasel or possibly a marten, which are in the same family. And you would love to hear my thoughts on this encounter. Well, let me just say that weasels are awesome. They are long, slender animals with short legs, carnivores, always hunting, always moving, eat a lot of food, a lot of meat. Their long, skinny bodies allow them to go underground and, and search in tunnels. So they are also known to be fierce. It's one of their trademarks, fierceness. And because you were a little afraid of this animal and you thought it was creepy and a little scary, I think that there's a fierce aspect to your personality that maybe you are afraid of. And, and, and it's wanting to emerge. And maybe you think, I don't know, that fierceness is not nice, but all is good until it's out of balance and we all need to have uh, that fierce aspect inside of us. So I'm really excited to hear your feedback and see if any of that resonated because at the end of the day, you are of authority. You know best and I just channel information through you pick the threads that resonate and weave your own story. So I hope that you all enjoyed learning a little bit more about Weasel and I look forward to seeing you next time.